galaxy divided. Striking swiftly after the Battle of Geonosis, Count Dooku's droid army has seized control of the major hyperspace lanes, separating the Republic from the majority of its clone army. With few clones available, the Jedi generals cannot gain a foothold in the outer rim as more and more planets choose to join Dooku's separatists. While the Jedi are occupied fighting a war, no one is left to keep the peace. Chaos and crime spread, and the innocent become victims in a lawless galaxy. Clone Wars, guys! Happy Star Wars Day, May the 4th be with you guys and uh yeah doing clone wars um zen has got this table up under the events for free today so go check it out see if you agree with me when we do the spacey score we're gonna have to move that cursor off off the screen so yeah check it out if you haven't got this table play it for free today and uh, we'll see how this goes. Now, I will say, guys, that I have um, I've put the music down just a tad. I think I'm on seven. And I'm finding I need to do that for these Star Wars tables. Star Wars music is so overpowering. Um, and unless it's really connecting with the table, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So a tip for you guys, you might want to tune your music down as well and hopefully at some point Zen will put in individual audio levels for every table. Has to be done guys, has to be done so we can really enjoy every table every time we go into them. Alright, let's get into this table, see how the Clone Wars plays. Straight away on this table, a couple of things. First of all, we've got the nice two flippers up the top there that seem to work quite well together. Um, but the ball is way too light, guys. We've got a bit of marble physics going on on this table, which is a shame. I gather we've got to get into these council ramps. Oh, okay. Can't blame the table on that one. Okay, where, where am I going here? Is there a... No, I can't see where I'm going. Launch the ball, there's no skill shot. No skill shot, guys. Oh no, there is a skill shot. Just didn't tell me what it was. <laughs> I've leaked it anyway. Alrighty. Okay, okay, yes, thank you. Get up that ramp. And the ball save sh sh well <laughs> every time guys I do one of these videos whenever I'm in a mode or multi ball my time is incredibly low whereas normally when I'm playing on my own I tell no lies <laughs> I really do have a long game <laughs> oh well they're not all of me Gotta be real. S skill guys. Gotta get my skills up. You only do that from practicing. Yeah, the call the call outs that guy's making is a little uh Yeah, it's not great. It's alright. Some nice laser sounds there, but no laser effects. 
you know, we've got the little animation here, pretty small again, just when you're in this uh, overhead view. Might be a table that translates better from a desktop point of view. Whoops. That's where the lock was, right here. That, those two shots there, relatively easy to complete, which is, you know, which is good. Okay. Getting these side ones going to be hard. One's on the edge here. How am I going to do that? Get it really late. Yeah, there we go. One side. The other side. Yep. And now. Oh, I get these yellow. <coughs> doing here guys? How do I get these yellow ones? That was smack straight on it. <laughs> what am I supposed to do guys? What am I Oh okay well that went in. And so do that. Okay. Sure I shot there before. Alright we're up the top now. This is pretty cool guys to be in oh, basically whole new pinball table and obviously it's uh, basic in terms of what you're doing but it's still cool nonetheless and of course this is where uh, virtual pinball shines right when you can do stuff like this whoops dropped it all the way out the bottom all right well cool took a little bit of punting though to get the the extra targets there but Okay, what do we do? War on, where we go? Cloak of Darkness? Cloak of Darkness, come on. Okay. I'm gonna get, get these deactivations. Animation up there. Quite a long sh shot up there. Geez, that goes way too quick. Again, an another shame that this doesn't have really realistic physics. one on the left now I can get there missed it it's a little uh, hop around get my skills up around here guys unless it's going to time out was going to time out it might time out careful okay here we go nope Oh, way too late. Okay. To the middle. Amazing. Yeah, it was amazing to get that. <laughs> Oh, a nice little help along there. Yeah, these uh, animations, it's just a real shame in cabinet mode. They, they, they're they just really small. Got a nice green ball now, guys. Whee! Where am I going?
my cloak of darkness. Where am I going now, though? Where's the next? Where's the next shot? Okay, I probably shouldn't have uh, hung around with that. <laughs> Interesting. I'm sorry, that despicable welfare gunway got away. Okay. All right. All right. Actually, interesting, sort of got to ball three there and I was sort of ready for another ball actually. So, sort of started getting more and more into that game as it progressed. The table definitely flows very nicely. You know, with the music down, guys, it's not, it's not piercing, it's not in my ears, it sort of is a little bit continuous in the background, but it's all right. I could still do so much more with music, mind you, but in terms of it really assisting with what's going on with the gameplay, but for now, nice way to sort of enjoy these tables, get the effects up. My call outs are a little down too, I can't remember what setting I've got them on, but I do turn them down a little. Quite nice, and the bumpers up the top there. Yeah, the main thing that's letting this down is the physics. I reckon this could. This could uh, really play awesomely if it had a heavier ball. Okay, weapons factory. Let's do weapons factory. You have to destroy that Genosian weapons factory, no matter what it costs. So, can you sneak in and take out its main reactor? You can count on me. Let's see if I don't stuff it up in the first three seconds. Okay, I need to get right up there. Oh, it's way, way too early, Greg. What are you doing? Backhand it from here. Almost. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Okay, we're on the multi ball again. Let's see if I can do something with it this time. Really should hold one of these balls, guys, but you know what happened last time when I did that. You know, the call out's just sort of telling you what's going on is okay, right? I mean, as I said, the, the voice acting in it is so-so, but it's not terrible. Hell of a lot better than Jurassic World, <laughs> that's for sure. So I don't mind that, you know, sort of telling you what's sort of going on. It's at least if it's out of the way a bit. Again, if you've got the um, voice acting on top volume, you might be a little, get a little sick of it. Why is that not triggering? Okay. Nice boom too there, guys, when that fires off. Got to admit.
did a reasonable game. Fantastic. And again, a lot of that's to do with the fact that those, uh, off the flipper, the ball just goes for miles. So it's really easy to complete the ramps. Way too quick. Cool. Okay, well, yeah, it's game over again, guys. Well, I think we better stop and do the spacey score. Let's get the volume down as we go through this. And, of course, the, uh, the text here doesn't quite fit in cabinet mode. So, uh, but anyway, of course, it's calling it out on the way through. Um... Wow, okay, very interesting, very interesting table in, in many ways. So we're going to start with a theme and with the, the Clone Wars in particular in relation to Star Wars. Um, you know, I'm trying to cast my, my memory back even with the movie, but I would have thought that, I would have thought the theme would be a really good theme. And the reason why I say it like that is that I felt like wasn't I mean wasn't the Clone Wars all about having all these clones, <laughs> you know? And the big there wasn't this massive like fighting scene at the end with uh, thousands of clones. This table doesn't really reflect that. I think that's an opportunity missed. It would be met like marching clones coming down the table would have been a cool idea. Hey. I'm sure there's plenty of plenty of ideas that could have gone into the table. So, look, I think the theme is is good, but I think the execution of it is not as good. I'm going to give it a seven on the theme. The atmosphere, um, yep, it's in a Star Wars universe. Of course, the music makes a big part of that. There was some lots of lasers and stuff. Again, the main call out guy, I couldn't really relate to. Um, in terms of sort of the you know the overarching atmosphere of it all, it was okay. It, it was, look, that's a bit unfair actually. It was good. It was very good. I've gone from okay good to very good. Um, but it's a seven. Uh, it's a seven on atmosphere. Layout artwork. All right. So the um, sorry the layout realism first of all. Big pardon is the table in terms of the structure of it is actually a pretty complex table this there's a lot going on with it um, and I think it's it's good it bodes well for a really interesting table and uh, and certainly yeah this was a, a real table I think you'd find uh, you'd be enjoying it a lot just for you know the shot interest I guess which we'll talk about a bit later but the layout is very good um, again it's let down by the physics if anything so I think the layout should score pretty highly here I think this is a nine on the layout table artwork all right so the table artwork is very good I like the characters that are depicted at the lower side of the table here this is all very good it's just nice this something doesn't quite pop with it though um, but it's very good it's nice in here but it's it's just something missing that doesn't make it quite pop but it's it's up there in terms of artwork I'm gonna give it an eight all right, animations. We had quite a few animations in there. Um, again, they're very small. It seems to be a bit of a, a rolling theme again with the cabinet view. The animations don't really pop out. I think you're going to have you enjoy them more, guys, if you're playing this in desktop mode, I'm pretty sure. There's a fair few animations in there, though, mind you. Um, and they seem, you know, reasonable. Have the, the fighting scenes and stuff. Not over the top. I'm going to give it a... I think just for the, the, the quantity of them in there, I'll give it a seven. I was going to give it a six, but I think I'll give it a seven on the animations. Graphical effects, uh, yep, there was some in there. It wasn't a huge amount, mind you. Again, I think this table could have shone with a lot more going on with it, with the more more effects and crazy stuff with lighting and stuff. So I'm going to give it about a six on the graphical effects. Overall lighting, table lighting is good. We've got nice mix between uh, you know dark and light areas on this particular table and just have another look at it in terms of how it looks even with the even with the ramps got good light there to sort of bring them up especially in this cabinet view guys because this is the hardest thing to get some sort of 3d look it's a bit busy though right it is a bit flat here because the main artwork is so bright as well so always a challenge um, to get that that right so it's not 
it's not perfect by any means. It's good. I think I'm going to. Hmm. I think I'm going to give it an eight. I think I'm going to give it an eight, guys. It's it, it, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Ball saved. All right, DMD. Look, the DMD was okay. It wasn't much going on there, to be perfectly honest. Um, again, 90s style pen. But uh, yeah, I wasn't that impressed with it. I think it's a sort of bit mid-range. I'm going to give it a five. Now the music, as I said, I've turned it down, so it just sort of continued there in the background. It's Star Wars music. Um, again, not really helping the pin out in terms of playing very much. It's a little bit flat all the way through. So it didn't really grab my emotions and I think it didn't really help with the atmosphere either which we just talked about earlier on so I think this is the, the music here is a, a six in terms of it you know integrating and playing in with with pinballs not you know I like Star Wars music guys but yeah it's it's tough man it's tough it's a tough score in terms of uh, the musical score to get in and mix it with pinball it's you know orchestral and it's uh yeah tough gig um sound effects were good and got a bit of a feeling for a lot of star wars lasers and, and the uh um lightsabers um yeah again it was good it wasn't overly awesome it was good so i think it deserves about a six they said the callouts were sparse, they told you what to do, which was good. The voice acting's not too bad. Look, from that point of view, look, there wasn't anything really annoying with it. So, <laughs> in some respects, you know, that's a good thing. It wasn't much more, though, that really sort of told a story. I was going to give it a seven. I think I'm going to drop it a six because of that. Um, yeah, callouts are about a six. Now, flow. Flow was excellent. Ball float around. Like, given the complexity of the table and some of the shots, there's some of these quite long shots to get up there. Getting the flow around off the flippers up the top was very good. Again, it seems like they've tuned the table more for the speed and, and lightness of the ball, which is unfortunate. But flow-wise, it fl it spins around the table. It's just, guys, it's just a little bit too... When it does that, it just knocks it down a bit in terms of other areas. Um, when we look at challenge and stuff, because it just, just flies around. It's a little bit like it's on autopilot, right? Um, but the flow itself is excellent and you know it almost gets a 10 but i'm going to give it going to give it a nine it's very strong good flow feels good shot interest there is actually plenty to do and it helps with that top area of the play field and the two extra flippers there um i was a little lost sometimes in terms of what i was supposed to be doing next but that's probably just me but overall shot interest is high and I think it's really actually deserves a nine because it's right up, there's a lot to do on this table. And the overall challenge was good, let down by the physics, um, which was a shame. Uh, it did, interestingly, I think I was actually getting really gripped into the challenge guys, which is why it's like suddenly the three balls were ended, but I felt like I had a good game. Um, so yeah it was challenging some of those top shots you know it's quite a lot of table to get through to get some of those top shots but i guess the physics makes it a bit bit easier than it should be i'm going to give it a I'm going to give it a seven though it's pretty pretty good good seven on the challenge so yeah physics feel definitely not an eight it's not a seven it's either a five or a six because it's just two marble physics on this table real shame um it's really quite it's really light, so I'm gonna be a little harsh and give it a five, but I think it, it's just a shame. It could be beefed up, it would really, really impact this game. However, we talk about the fun factor, it was still fun, it was fun to play. It wasn't fun, big smile on my face, like uh, we have had on a table two. It was fun though, um, Somewhat ironically, because the physics is so light and things are flying around and flying and stuff, that gives it <laughs> gives it more of a fun factor. So it claws a claws a point back. I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a seven. I was gonna give it a six, but I think I'll give it a seven. I think that's fair. Replayability. I think there's enough going on in this table and with the modes and then jumping off into the other screens as part of that. I think there's enough in there to actually come back to this table. 
So I think from that point of view, yes, there is pretty good replayability here. It probably will be one that I will come back to and, you know, check out some of these shots more. Fix the physics, I'll be coming back a lot more. I'm going to give it a 7, a replayability. And the Spacey's X Factor, well, I think the key thing here is uh, when it jumps out um, into the secondary sort of tables in that mode that we went into, uh, even though that first part of that table was just was a little bit hammering away trying to get up to the top, would have been interesting to see what happened when I got past the top one there, but um, I think that's definitely a bit of an X factor on this table. And the sort of layout and stuff is pretty cool as well as an extra point in there as well, but I think those extra elements give it at least a three plus the sort of layout of the table. It's getting a, gonna get a Spacey's X factor of four, guys. So there you have it. That gives us a spacey score for this table on May the 4th. And guys, I hope you enjoy your Star Wars day, have Star Wars parties and stuff. We'll see where this one ranks up in the table. And of course, there's more Star Wars tables to come, but we will mix it up with a few others. So if you like these videos, please make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And if you have played this table today, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I'd like to hear your opinions on the tables as well as we keep going through the ranking. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, ciao for now. Thank <laughs> you.